You guys have been asking me for my Instant Pot Bake ZD recipe for months. I finally have it for you and I'm going to show you a brand new five day meal planner that Reeb's made for you that you can use week after week after week. Let's do this. Hey everybody, this is Dylan. You know I'm all about helping you find fast, easy ways to get in and out of the kitchen while also maintaining that healthy whole plant food diet. We are making one of my favorite recipes today. I think I've made this one about 100 times. I keep teasing you with it and finally I'm going to deliver. But not just that, I'm going to give you a whole five day meal plan that Reeb's put together that is really awesome and it includes several recipes that we have not even made YouTube videos for. Let's get to it. This is such a fun recipe. It is so fast and easy. Reeb's, grab that camera, get in here you guys. And and let's make this ZD because I have not yet eaten today and I am very hungry. As we go through all the ingredients on this recipe, I'll explain kind of some ways you can modify it because at the end of the day, I don't operate in recipes. The only reason we have recipes is because you would kill me if I didn't make them. If you're really in a hurry, I love to use frozen onion and bell pepper. Here's a bag of chopped onion. One bag is always close enough to one onion, which is 10 or 12 ounces. So I like to throw in one onion, one bell pepper, and a handful of mushrooms. Oh, we're gonna use some frozen artichoke hearts too. I absolutely love these frozen artichoke hearts at Trader Joe's. Single ingredient, no added salt, no added oil, nothing like that. And by the way, we're using a six quart Instant Pot for this. If you don't have the six quart, uh, you know, you might have to modify the recipe a little bit. Of course, the eight quart will work as well. Everything's going in. We're not doing a saute step in the Instant Pot. It's just throw everything on the recipe into the pot. Then I've got those frozen artichoke hearts. They're still rock solid. You don't have to let things thaw first. No planning required for this one. Here we go with the fresh stuff because again, I didn't find frozen for this. So let's just chop up a bell pepper. I got to tell you about this five day meal plan that Rebecca's put together. The link's down here on the screen and in the description box, click it. We've got this recipe and all the amounts we're using as well as lots of other recipes. But don't think of this as just a five day meal plan where you're going to only be able to use it for a week and then you need another meal plan after that. No, we don't work like like that. You figure out like a week's worth of meals and then you repeat them week after week after week. Tell us how you feel about freezing food, Dill. Freezing food? Yeah. I'm definitely going to get a question about can I freeze this recipe if I don't bring this up now. Yeah, you can freeze this, but why not just put it in the fridge and portion it out and eat it for the rest of the week for your lunches. Now your lunches are ready. You don't have to thaw anything. I mean, are you going to get sick of this? Is that why you want to freeze it? I'm not criticizing. I might, I think I truly want to know. So comment down below if you're one of the freezer people. I take all these dry ingredients. We've got some Italian seasoning, garlic powder, nutritional yeast. We use some wild rice. You could use brown rice. Well, your world does make a non-fortified nutritional yeast. Best price, best flavor, free shipping on all $50 orders. Check us out. Here's a little hack. This is just a little pint mason jar. I just layer them into the mason jar. Not only does it look cute for Reebs because she likes cute things, but it's real fast. So you just got to throw that in, the frozen stuff, a few cans of these diced tomatoes and tomato sauce, and boom, you can get this thing going in minutes. And then you can set it, forget it, walk away, wait for the beep and come and eat. All right, let's get to it. Throw all these dry ingredients into the Instant Pot. And don't forget, the meal planner is down below with the exact recipe and all the amounts. Get it now. Next up, I've got about a half a pound of pasta I'm going to throw in here. I used to do this with whole wheat penne pasta, which gets nice and mushy. And it used to remind me of this dish I ate as a kid. And I love the mushy pasta in it. If you use gluten-free pasta, which is what we use now, it does not get as mushy. It holds its texture and its structure better. I recommend this red lentil penne or the chickpea penne that Barilla makes and many other brands. Next up, I have some Butler soy curls. These are optional. As you can see, this is like all starch and vegetables. There's not really much in the way of added richness like from fats. So I'll just take like a cup of soy curls and I'll just kind of break them up. They'll still be plenty chunky and what turns into a powder will just add some beautiful, rich, delicious flavor to the dish. Soy curls you can probably find best and cheapest at the actual Butler website if you want to try that out. Then I've got two cans each of no salt added diced tomatoes and tomato sauce. Find them with no salt. Let's throw them in and then we're just going to add some water and turn this thing on. Here we go. As you can see, this looks really full, but we haven't stirred it yet. Now we've got more space. I can add the rest of the water. Give it a nice big stir. Oh, it already smells good and it's not even cooking. We've got it in here. I'm just putting it to 19 minutes, full pressure, and then we'll do a manual release. You can bust the steam out as soon as it beeps 
and we can rock and roll. But while that's going, Reeves and I both love a little bit of black olives chopped on top. These you're not gonna find without salt, but because we're just sprinkling them on top, it's okay for me, but I really love a little bit of fat with this dish in the form of these delicious olives. Okay, ready? That's a full pot of ziti, oh boy. Look at how gorgeous the pasta looks like it held together pretty good, like I was saying, beautiful. I can eat like four or five bowls of this in one sitting. Sprinkle a few olives on top if you're using them. Mmm. Oh, that's hot. Mm. Oh, that is good. Taste that noodle. Oh, the flavor is so good. I know it looks like we put a lot of Italian seasoning in, a lot of garlic, a lot of nooch, but it just works. That is the amount you need to make the food taste really good without all that added salt, oil, and sugar. You've gotta flavor your food. Y'all, if you wanna try my world famous Instant Pot Ziti, then click the link down below and download Reeves' brand new five-day meal planner. You're gonna love it. Let us know if you have any questions, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, bye.